Okay, here's the first one. A, 2.7 kilometers, and you're asked to show what that's equal to in meters. Okay. Now, a very small number of you actually went and drew the diagram that will help you work with this, right? Now, do you have to do the diagram? No. Do, do the marks, do, do you, does the diagram itself give you any marks? No. But if you did the diagram, you almost certainly got them exactly perfect, okay? So let's just very, very briefly draw it. Um, it's the metric one, right? So there are four units on it. From biggest to smallest, it goes kilometers, meters, is that, that's an M, okay? Uh, centimeters, and millimeters. Okay, now you draw the whole thing. Drawing the whole thing is actually much easier than just drawing parts of it because there's a pattern to it, okay? So here's the way it works. From kilometers to meters, right? For example, two kilometers is literally, like the kilo means thousand, right? So it's 2,000 meters. You have to multiply by a thousand. When you go down the next time, you multiply it by a hundred because meter, centimeter, century, century, you know, same idea. And down millennium. here, you multiply by 10. Yeah, now millennium means from meter to millimeters. There's a thousand, right? So that's why there's a hundred here, 10 here. You multiply them together, you get a thousand, okay? Now, if you wrote this out, okay, I can virtually guarantee you got the right answer. So here's what I would do. I'd say kilometers, meters. So I'm here to here, here to here, okay? So I even write down 2.7 times a thousand. That's what I actually have to do. And your calculator, if you're struggling with doing your place values correctly, will tell you the rest. It's 2700, okay? So that's the way that I actually will work this out. I have this whole framework in my head on the paper, and then I identify the part that's most useful to me, okay? Now, the next one is tricky for two reasons. Number one, it's going in the other direction, okay? Because you go from centimeters, which is a little unit, right? To kilometers, which is a big unit, okay? So if we want to go in the other direction, then instead of multiplying this way, what do we do? Divide. We divide, that's exactly right. So instead of multiplying by 10, we divide by 10 here, divide by 100 here, and divide by 1,000 here, right? Now the second challenge with this problem is, that you're not just going one step, right? See how here we just went kilometers to meters and that was fine, okay? But here we're going from centimeters to meters then to kilometers, okay? So I'm going to divide by, take this 5800, and what do I divide by? Yeah. Hmm. You can think about it a couple of different ways. You can either say, let's go from centimeters to meters first. Let's just do one step. Right? So you divide by 100, okay? And that'll give you the number of meters. But then you've got to go another step. You've got to divide by 1,000 after that, and that'll give you kilometers, okay? Now, you can either write that, or alternatively, you can do, you can do both of those divisions at the same time. Instead of doing 100 and then 1,000, you just do 100,000. Okay, that'll be, that'll do both at the same time. Okay, now that should give you the right number, which is 0.0, I think. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so really the important thing is not this. The important thing is these two, right? That's how you actually get the right answer. No, you can be confident, okay? So now the last one. I reckon you can talk me through this. We've got 20,000 millimeters. We want it in meters. If you got this wrong, I think you should write it down, which is about 50% of you. Some of you are fine though. Now, which way are we going? Are we going from big units to small units or small units to big units? Small which way? To big. Small to big. Because millimeters are tiny and meters much bigger. Right? How many steps are we going? Two. Two steps from here to here and then from here to here. Okay, so let's try doing both at the same time. You got your 20,000. What do I divide by? Yeah, a thousand, that's exactly right. Because divided by 100 and divided by 10, together, it's divided by a thousand. So that's why the answer is just 20 meters. There you go.